Well, good morning, everybody. I hope you are all well. Welcome back down to my allotment. Now, this morning, I had some broken panels of glass on this allotment, which I've been replacing. And I've got most of them replaced. It's just the two corner pieces, the diagonal pieces, which I am struggling with. Now, last year, last April to be exact, I did actually learn how to cut glass, but I haven't done it since. And today, I gave it a try but I ended up breaking far too many panels of glass. So I'm going back to the drawing board. I am debating whether to keep glass on these greenhouses, this one and, and Tim's greenhouse, uh, whether we're gonna keep the glass or turn to twin wall polycarbonate. I'm not sure yet what is gonna be the best, but this is something going on in my mind. Anyway, um, I've done what I can with that. So I wanna move on to my next task for today which is going to help me move forward on my allotment. So next on my list of things that I'm tackling today is building a new compost bin. Now this corrugated iron I've had for quite a while. It used to be on a shed that I dismantled during our lockdowns and I didn't want to go, didn't want to waste it, didn't want to waste it at all. I've used it obviously for building some beds here on the allotment but I figured we can also use it to build a new compost bin. And uh, nothing difficult about it, of course. Four posts, which are just all screwed in to make this a nice square. Right. That's my new compost bin built. Now this is gonna be, for me, quite an important part of moving forward because, well, as I said on the tour video, the compost bins I've currently got are falling apart and I need somewhere to put all that material. Compost is probably one of the most expensive things that I need and I need a lot of compost. So trying to make my own is an absolute must. Might as well start filling this up with some stuff while we can. Right. right, well I am happy, I've got a compost bin built. This is gonna help me really move forward. I'm very unhappy with the allotment at the moment. It's, it's very messy. And this is just one of the things that's just gonna help me move forward now it is built. Now talking of moving forward, I want to tackle next is the cherry trees. Right, now I said when I was doing the tour video that this area we seem to have got some self-seeded cherry trees and I was in two minds about what I was going to do with them. I could of course just mow the area and get rid of them but I am looking at the moment of practicing different pruning and training techniques including sort of um, a step over cherry or apple trees or what have you uh, but they are expensive to buy and I've got these here so what I want to do I'm going to dig them up pop them inside some of these pots and hopefully we should be able to train these to be some interesting shapes if you get what I mean anyway let's get digging these out Well, I've now got most of these cherry trees dug out. We've actually got 10 cherry trees in buckets, hoping they're gonna hill in so that we can use them, as I say, for making fan train cherries or uh, uh, espalier trains, etc., etc. Just something that I'm looking at trying to build on. The only trouble is I couldn't get this one tree out. Slightly annoying. I'm gonna bring the pickaxe down or something when I find it to get this one out because it is such a, a good little tree. I know that these cherries are going to be Morello cherries, so they should be quite a decent cherry. 
Well, that is it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know whether you prefer glass or polycarbonate on your greenhouse so that I can make a decision of what to replace them with. Until next time, please take care.